Hey everyone, so make sure that uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, make sure that you subscribe. And some of the questions uh, which I give as examples in my lecture slides, and apart from my lecture slides, some of them which I give as examples in uh, revision tutorials, I will not be solving them here. So if you don't see any question here uh, as a tutorial video, just know that to say that it's in the tutorial. Uh, revision um, revision examples yeah seen the tutorial revision slide so uh, to start with today we're going to look at uh, question one from tutorial sheet three and uh, please if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe click on the button which says subscribe so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting all right so we quickly begin so here is the question which is saying solve for x. So you've been told to solve for x. So here, when you look at this question, it has a denominator one. So what we do is uh, first we find the common denominator this side, which is three. So when we when we do our mathematics there, we know how to solve fraction. We're going to have something like this. 3 times 4 gives you 12 and then you have something like this and this side you have x minus 7 then over 4 so from there you now just simplify it so you have your 2x there and then since 7 minus 2 will give you negative 5 then everything divide by 3 being equal to x minus 7 over 4 so when you cross multiply here you get 8 x minus 20 and then being equal to 3 x minus 21 then here what happens now is you just pair the like terms so when you take this 3 to the other side of the equal sign you're going to have 8x minus 3x and then this is equal to uh, when you take this uh, uh, 20 to the other side of the equal sign you're going to have plus uh, 20 so meaning you have 8x minus um, x there you get uh, I mean 8x minus 3x you get 5x and then this is equal to negative 1 so to find x you just divide everything by 5 so you have your negative 1 over 5 like that okay so basically this is how you solve these questions they are very simple and straightforward yeah same applies to the next question which is this one you also do it the same way so you find the common denominator pair the like terms and solve it so let me just do this one maybe and uh, this one so this one you first have to uh, multiply this you multiply them this and that and then you subtract that so when you multiply that you're going to have 4x uh, times so this is how it's going to come out like it's going to be like 4x multiplying with everything in that bracket which is uh, x plus 1 and then you have your minus 3 there you multiply it with again with x plus one and then you say minus this is multiplying itself two times so what wh what should you do so you say x times x there you get x squared and then plus when you expand that you can attest with me that this is going to be your answer So here again you multiply, so here you, you have 4x uh, squared plus 4x
minus 3x and then minus 3 minus x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to so I forgot to put the equal sign there so this is how it's going to be okay so here now you just pair the like terms so you have 4x squared minus x squared this will give you 3x squared then 4x minus 3x will give you x minus 2x will give you negative x then negative 3 uh, uh, minus 1 will give you negative 4 being equal to 1 minus 3x so you take this 1 minus 3x to the other side of the equal sign you are going to have something like this so negative x plus 3x you get positive 2x negative 4 minus 1 you get negative 5 which is equal to 0 so now from here here what we are just remaining with is uh, just uh, factorizing this or finding the roots of this equation so we find the product the product is negative 15 the sum is uh, positive 2 here so now we put in the factors so the factors will now be equal to negative 3 and 5 so we have our negative 3x there plus and then our positive 5 there 5x there then minus 5 this being equal to zero so what this normally means is that uh, what this means is that when you add this here in between should give you uh, 2x so you say you factorize now 3x is common so 3x into 3x squared you have your x minus 1 you write it there then you have your positive 5 there then you have your x minus 1 then you say this is equal to 0 so you write the factor there x minus 1 then you also write the remaining numbers in the other bracket like that Okay. So you put x minus 1 to 0 and make x the subject of the formula x minus 1 equate it to 0 then your value of x is equal to 1. So this is one root of this quadratic equation and then we move on to the next equation we have 3 x plus 5 equate it to 0 you have your x being equal to negative 5 over 3 so these are the roots of this equation meaning they are the answers they are the solutions of this equation so the way i've done b is uh the way you the way i've done a and b this b here is the way that you do even this one and that one so for those of you who have access to me on whatsapp you can solve this equation and then uh, send the solutions on whatsapp i'll tell you whether they are correct or wrong thank you very much for watching today's tutorial kindly subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the next videos that i'm going to be sending subscribe subscribe shalom shalom